in case you're wondering, what I'm going to be using for this project is this um, piece of wood that I salvaged um, from a pallet. Um, it's nice and big and chunky, so when I come to use it, it'll be just ideal. Got this piece of 5mm, um, it kind of looks like plywood, but I think it's more likely MDF with a veneer on it. And I've also got this really long piece of white pine um, that is actually a piece of driftwood uh, that I got from the beach. I'm going to change the saw angle to 45 degrees so I can cut some mitres uh, on the side pieces so they fit together nicely. <laughs> So I've got all the mitres cut here, they seem to match up nicely and I can really uh, get a feel for how this is going to go together. So I'm going to cut this piece here uh, to fit inside there, up at the top and then what I basically need to do, uh, I need to make um, a few grooves in there either with the mitre saw or with the table saw so that when uh, a saw goes in to the saw tail it will get held in nicely in place and will just slot into that groove um, so I'll just cut that down to length and then I'll make those grooves now I've just cut this piece with the grooves in it but I was a bit silly and I um, forgot to film it but mm, there it is with those four grooves um, cut, in it, cut into it so now it is time for assembly I forgot to say I cut this piece here um, well, it, it isn't quite cut to size yet, and that is just going to rest on there, and that is going to be something for the saw handles to rest on while they're in this till. These edges that I cut uh, on the jigsaw I would quite like um, to make a little bit of a feature of so I'm just going to um, cover that in some boiled linseed oil which will hopefully pop the grain quite nicely and make it look uh, pretty cool.
oh well, that's annoying. Looks like I'm gonna have to make the whole thing a little bit further down on the wall. Oh man. I've lowered it back down um, just a short way, so now hopefully the saws will fit in. And they just go and slot into the grooves. Oh man, what is with this this saw in particular? This spearing back one doesn't fit. I'm not sure why the, the Stanley one does, but the Spear and Jackson, I don't know why, just doesn't fit. Maybe, is it is it a bit longer? Uh, that, that is just so weird. I just can't work out why the, this saw won't fit. Right, well, um... Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Um, I certainly uh, enjoyed making this saw tail, and um, it now organises at least three of my saws. I'm sure I'll be able to find a slightly different saw to go and um, put in there for now. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. I just got forgot to uh, mention, so quickly before I go, in a few videos time I'm going to be doing a question and answer video, so if you do have any questions about woodworking or in particular the channel, just leave them in the comment section below and I shall aim to answer them in that upcoming video. Okay, thanks, bye.